As a company that's made internet content for the last 21 years, I think it's pretty fair to say that Rooster Teeth has had a long and storied history that unfortunately is coming to an end later this month. But before they go away, I wanted to make a video expressing how they affected me as a content creator and how watching Red vs. Blue growing up inspired me as a content creator and made me want to do the things I do today. And I wanted to just put all the drama aside that Rooster Teeth has sort of been embroiled in in their latter years and just focus on the positives. But I wanted to do it in a way that paid homage to the series that inspired me at the very start of everything. So, let's fire up the Xbox and get started. <sighs> there we go. So Rooster Teeth is, or was, functioning under Warner Media, and Warner saw that Rooster Teeth wasn't profitable, so they shut them down. And I want to say before I go any further that I wish nothing but the best for all the employees and contractors who are now out of a job. No matter what you think about them, politically, personally, publicly, whatever, at the end of the day, they are all still people, and the least we can do is be kind to people in situations like this. Now, why am I as a tech YouTuber making a video about Rooster Teeth? Well. I have two reasons. The first one is that this channel actually started out as a reaction channel and I watched some of their content, specifically Ruby Volume 3 through 5. But the other reason is because in Rooster Teeth's 21 years of existence, they have had a profound impact not just on me, but on the internet as a whole when it comes to online media and what can be done with it. I religiously watched Red vs. Blue up until season 13, the final season of the Chorus Trilogy, and I remember downloading the original seasons from redvsblue.com and loading them onto my mom's iPod video to watch. I mean, hell, my first experience with Red vs. Blue was watching it on a friend's iPod that he brought to school during lunch and recess. Back then, it showed people my age that video games like Halo could be used for more than just shooting your friends. It could be used to express your creativity. There's a reason why Red vs. Blue became so popular. It literally launched the machinima wave that we still see in content to this day. It turned an already fun video game into a tool for expressing creativity and sharing stories, sketches, and jokes with your friends. I mean, for God's sakes, Rooster Teeth is the reason I can make a video in this format. I kid you not, one of my VFX class projects when I was in college involved machinima techniques that I learned by watching RVB behind the scenes videos. And because of Red vs. Blue and Rooster Teeth, walking through an empty multiplayer map in Halo doesn't feel nostalgic to me because of the matches I played in them on Xbox Live. They feel nostalgic because they're film sets that told great stories and jokes and had amazing action scenes. This is the wall that Griff drove through in Season 8 when he ran over Washington. This is the wall where Caboose made the worst throw ever, of all time. That was the worst throw ever. Of all time. Not my fault. Someone put a wall in my way. This is the cliff where the Reds and Blues defeated the meta. And this... This is where it all began. A box canyon in the middle of nowhere. Whoopty fucking do All of these things, all these memories, and all of these moments came from one series that was made by a bunch of guys who didn't want to play Halo correctly. And this isn't even counting their original content like Achievement Hunter with their guides and Let's Plays, Camp Camp, Genlock, and of course Ruby, an original anime-inspired series with a rich world and backstory created by the late great Monty Ohm. To say that Rooster Teeth was solely a content creation company really undersells everything that they were, and it doesn't even come close to describing the effect they had on internet content creation, community building, creativity, gaming, animation, storytelling, and me. So to summarize my thoughts, Rooster Teeth to me was a pillar of online media and content creation. One of the old guard. It started as a group of friends who only wanted to make a funny Halo sketch show and share it with others. But they inspired countless other creatives and showed people that even the seemingly dumbest idea could shine brighter than anyone expected. And because of that, the memories that I made watching their content, going to RTX, making friends courtesy of the content they made, all of that will never leave me. And so, with all that said, rest in peace, Rooster Teeth. Thank you so much for inspiring me and so many others over these last two decades. And I'm drunk inside a